So many companies um, are manufacturing stories that they can tell about their brand, um, but we have an authentic American, uh, original kind of product and brand. Won't bring him home. Uh, I'm Dan Pavlovich. Uh, I work in R&D here, uh, mostly on the Cromer line. I, I spend a lot of time with Cromer products. I've been here for 25 years. I really like the R&D because it, it, well, it lets you be creative. Um, and I really enjoyed that part of it. And it's always been fun to think up ideas and make them yourself and, and just have them come to life after you, you, know, you get an idea and then to actually see it. This place has always been like a family. It's just a really big family. And everyone is so proud to be working on the things that we make here for Stormy Chrome. It's, it's, it's all part of us. Every, every person who works on it knows they did something on this. It's American made, it's made right here. It, it's just great. You get that feeling of pride that you don't get from, I think, other things. My name is Cheryl Bjork. Uh, I'm the production manager for Stormy Cromer hats and outerwear. I make sure that what we're sewing will fill the orders on time. When I started at Jackworth, I came to work as an entry-level inspector, and over time I've been given the opportunity to have the job I have now and learn many new skills and continue to grow. I really like the people. We are a family here, and it's just a really great place to work. Stormy Cromer came into our family's lives um, and blessed us with a powerful vision and ability to continue to grow this company and employ people in this community. When Bob bought the company in 2001, he bought a single hat style in two colors. But now, you know, we've got, I don't know, a dozen different hat styles in eight to ten colors. We've got shirts and vests and mittens and bags and jackets and pants that are all made in America and that have all been added really because the consumer is asking for it. A lot of people really think there's like a big giant machine in here that fabric goes in one end, someone pushes a button and this hat comes out the other end. And they're really very often surprised by the men and women who are using their fingers and are you know, bent over a sewing machine and that are actually sewing this by hand, that every step is done by a human being. 